In 1881, um, some birch bark was discovered with what was revealed to be mathematics. So I visited a little temple in Gwalior, um, which has a zero marked on the wall, and this dates to middle of the 9th century on it. And this isn't a, a, some sort of a theoretical text, it seems to be a, a practical document that is being used by merchants to, to do calculations. And this came to Oxford eventually in 1902, and it's been sitting here in the Bodleian, and it's full of mathematics. This manuscript is between 200 and 400 AD. But the most exciting thing is that we've identified a zero, which I think has shocked everyone about just how early the zero that's in this document is. This becomes the birth of the concept of zero in its own right, and this is a total revolution. You know, when someone first came up and, to you and said, uh, how many cows are there in your field? And you say, well, what are you on about? There aren't any cows. And he's like, no, there's zero cows. It must have been uh, quite a, a revolutionary idea. That is exciting to recognise, that um, culture is important in making big mathematical breakthroughs.